Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS FX series. The model is an FX553V. And in this video, this client brought it in. It is really dirty. I think like they neglected it, cleaning and servicing it. And what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean up from inside out, how can you repaste, clean up the fan. Those are the essential things that you need to service. All that cover that in this video. And uh, for the outside cleaning, you can use any alcohol and wipes and clean it up. So that will be unnecessary to do this video for that. So first thing first, you wanna power it off. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using for this service. Tool number one, it's a workshop towels. A workshop towel is really good to use for servicing and cleaning and repasting because the towel can rip apart before damaging the components on the board. The second important one is an alcohol, 99% isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. Uh, good thermal paste is a really good to have. I'll use that Arctic MX4, you can use MX5, MX6, or if you wanna go over the board, you can use that thermal grizzly thermal paste. These are one of the highest uh, thermal paste in, in, that exists right now. You can get these ones if you want to, if you have the budget. And at tweezers, a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with some opening tools, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all the screws. And we're gonna use a Phillips number one. And we're gonna start from one corner and we're gonna start removing all the screws and keep them in one pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. There's a screw in here and there's a hidden screw that I'll show you what it is. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. <clears throat> now that we removed oh, oh, most of the screws, there's a hidden screw that is right in here under this rubber section. You need to poke it with that tweezers and lift up the adhesive. And you're gonna need to remove this tiny screw right on the bottom. Now that tiny one is the same size as the rest. I don't know why I say tiny. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what you wanna do, you wanna open up the laptop about a little bit like that. And we're gonna stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest. Uh, all you wanna do, you just wanna twist it around and you wanna hear those click sound, do all around in the front to the side. And I see already it's coming up. Once you do the side and the front, you can just wiggle it around and it will just lift up. And I can see right away, that there's a whole bunch of dust in here. It's really dusty. So you can take it also with toothbrush. Also another tool that we use is a toothbrush to clean up the bottom case. And in here, first thing first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the battery. The battery is right in here. You wanna put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull the battery backward. So bring it back like that and that's it. And that's how you can disconnect it. Use a toothbrush to clean on the hinges a little bit, and that's supposed to be, and now we're gonna remove the, oh, it is really dusty back here too. We're gonna remove the heat sink by removing few screws. We're gonna remove four screws on the CPU. I think this is a GPU and four screws on the CPU. And then we're gonna remove the screws for the fan. So remove four screws for here, and four screws for the GPU. All right, all the screws for this, eight screws are the same. Remove three screws for the fan that touches the fan. You wanna pull up this jack for the fan connector, or you can use a tweezer to, on the side to bring it up gently, wiggle it around, and it will come disconnected right there. 
And now you can just put the fan right in here. And there's the money shot right in here. You can see this blob of dust right in here. This is why it's over throttling. It slows down because of this dust in here. So there's the fan. Take the fan outside, use a toothbrush, clean it up. Now I'm gonna remove the excess of the dust in here first. All right, now we're going to grab it from the closest to the CPU and GPU, and we're going to lift it up. And there we have it. The thermal pads don't need to be changed. The thermal pads are fine, but if you want, you can replace them with a 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. But again, no need for them to be replaced. But if you want it and you have it, get a 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. This is a thermal gel, so if you want to replace these thermal gels, it's in here. Or you can put a 3 millimeters thermal pads in here. So I'm going to take this outside, I'm going to blow some air with a toothbrush, clean up the hinges, the whole thing, and the heat sink too. We're going to clean up this nicely, so it's not all clogged up with a toothbrush. And I'll be back. Alright, I took it outside and I cleaned up the casing, the fan, and as much as I could. Now you can do a better job than me, I'm hoping. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste. We're gonna grab a little workshop towel and we're gonna spread it right on top of the here and we're gonna swipe over the CPU and GPU. All you wanna do first is to clean up the die. You don't, you know, don't clean up everything around it. As long as you clean the CPU die, you're more than fine or GPU die. You don't need to go crazy, clean up every bit of Thermal paste all around it. So the only thing that touches the heatsink is the the crystal die. Once you clean that one up, you want to clean up the excess from here. All right. Now, what do you want to do? You want to apply the thermal paste. You can spread or leave a little tiny drop right in the middle. I'll leave a tiny drop right in the middle, a tiny line right on that one. Right, if you want to know how it is, let me put an angle so it doesn't reflect. Just like that. If you want to replace the thermal pad, these are 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. Replace them and bring the heatsink down, align it, and set it down straight right over there. CPU and GPU. And the next step is to process screw the screws for this GPU and CPU. I'll put one right there and one right across from where I just put it. So that way the thermal paste will spread evenly across the CPU and GPU. All right, once we tighten up the screw for that one, we're gonna grab the heat sink. I mean the fan, and we're gonna set the fan down. And we're gonna push down the jack first, because people always forget to push the jack in. And put the three screws that you remove from the fan. Now we are almost done here. And the last thing is to make sure you put the connector for the battery connector directly straight right inside the connector. If they don't put it sideways, and pinch it all the way in there. And to finish it up, Put the bottom cover on and make sure you clean up with a towel the top portion of this casing. I'll leave that for you guys to do. All right, and to finish it up again, the cover and the screw, don't forget the hidden screw in the middle. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.